Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode one of Dermacraft, the series where I play Minecraft. This is gonna be a single player let's play. And when I say let's play, I use that term pretty loosely because I am an idiot in this game. You're gonna see lots of fails. You're gonna see lots of triumphs. At least I'm hoping. So, go grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, a cup of cocoa. I got apple cider right here, fresh and brewed. Let me take a sip. Hey, yeah, that's good cider. All right, so let's get this started. Create new world. World name is going to be... Germacraft? Sounds about right. Yeah, okay. Game mode is going to be survive survival. That's the most interesting, I think. More world options. See for world generator. Okay, this is important. I gotta name this something else. Crazy to get. Cool structures and stuff. Gonna name it... Um... How about... Diamonds... Are forever. LOL... Cheese... Burger... Alright, this. that's our world generator seed. Diamonds are forever LOL cheese burger. Done! Alright, let's see what happens. Create new world. Let's do it, guys. Building terrain. My god, this is so exciting. This is episode one. I wanna wonder where we're gonna end up. Where are we gonna end up? Okay. What? What? Where the hell am I? I spawn on top of a mountain top. Okay, hold on. Sound has to be lord. Definitely. Okay, lower that. Lower that. Maybe a little lower. That sounds about right. All right. So apparently, it spawned on top of a mountain. Kind of this is a good seed. What's that? We're going to explore it right now. Go. Ah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. All right. We're going to try that again. This time I'm not going to miss. I want to get down to that. That's the home right there. I want to live right there. No, I don't even have to explore. Let's see if I can't do this. I got... Hold on. I got an idea. I got a plan. Germacraft episode one. This is how we do it. You guys ready? I don't know if I don't know if you guys are actually really ready for this. Here we go. I'm going for a skydive. Remember, if you hold shift, you don't fall off. That's something I didn't know when I used to live stream this game. Hey, hey. Are you guys ready? Ready to go see our new home? <laughs> All right, you that. What the hell is that? Oh, it's an octopus. Look at this little quaint little place. I love it already. Hey, <laughs> hey. Already. So, I'm so stupid. You see, this is why. This is why I'm an idiot, guys. You see, why would I? I need to get one. And I just jumped off it. Okay. Remember this. Where are we pointing east? I have no idea. Gotta get some trees. That's the most important part about Minecraft. You gotta get trees. The first thing you gotta get. Let me take a sip of my apple cider. That's good stuff. Hopefully you guys picked up a... Thing of cocoa like I told you to, because that's the most relaxing thing in the world. Sitting down, playing video games. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, come on now. We got sand too. Now, explain this to me, alright? Alright, I want dogs to send me a personal email. And explain to me why there are cows that are acting like mountain lions. I'm gonna kill each one of those cows in just a minute. You watch. Well, at least there's one tree over here. Gotta remember, I gotta go back that way, cause that's when it, the house is gonna be. My awesome dirt house. So if you are an old subscriber, I mean really old, like at least four months, or month of May for five months, you'll remember the original Germacraft, it was like two episodes. And I built a dirt house. This is gonna be completely different. I am actually going to spend time and make some cool stuff. At least that's what I'm pretending. Then I'm gonna say that. Heh. <laughs> got some wood. Oh, I got Gino still. From Mario RPG. One of the best games of all time. If you have never played Mario RPG, I suggest you play it. 
I got some wood. Any more trees over here I can dig up. I get this one too. One more, and we'll make our way back. So I guess they added a hunger feature now too. If you're hungry, you... You, you die or something, I guess? Who knows? Little bit more wood. And in my live streams, I was. It was always a tradition that when I played this game, that I would sing a song when things got really boring. So, that seems like the perfect opportunity right now to sing a song. So, oh, let me just prep my vocal cords for a second. Haha, <laughs> okay. So, we're getting wood right now, right? Do, 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 we're chopping wood, dog. Do, do, every single day. Do, 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 I gotta get my tools. Do, any which way. Do, 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 I can't seem to reach this stupid piece of wood. So I gotta put some blocks down to get where I shoot. I'm gonna chop. Do, do. Do gonna shop right now. Do 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 do. All right, that's enough. Got it. Let's get the hell out of here. Yay! For those of you who don't think that'll be a good spot, you'll see. I'm gonna build that up to be like a castle. So here's the goal: by Christmas time of this year, 2011, I want to have a giant castle, like as big as that. <laughs> They're not in over there. Let's clean this up a little bit. Why don't we? All right. All right. Maybe put a little bit of dirt down here. Make sure I can. You know. Did I really run out of dirt? Wonderful. My first wood tools. Just like going to your first day of school and getting punched in the face by the bully. Speaking of bullies, I got a funny story for you. First ever story on Germacraft. While I do this mundane stuff. So, when I was in like the fourth grade, there was a kid who lived down the street from me. His name was Will Stay Anonymous because... You know, I don't want him to like, if he watches these videos, I don't want him to come like beat me up. Not that he would ever remember this to begin with. But I, I was probably like the fourth grade, and... I was a little, I was a little less word. Guys, I was a little, I was a little... Jack. When I was younger, so essentially what happened was this kid, he was a big, big, fat kid. Scary. Not very nice. And my brother got in like a fight with him, like a long time before this. When I was in like the second grade, my brother's a little older than me. And let me pick this up. So my brother got in a fight with this kid, and I heard about it. And so at the bus stop one day, because we were at the same bus stop because he lives right down the street from us. Or he at least he did. I don't know if he does anymore. So, I don't know why. I was in the fourth grade. This is how much of a little jerk I was. So my grandmother used to pick me up from school after I got from the bus stop. Because, you know, obviously you don't want to walk, you know, the mile and a half back to your house or whatever it is, my lord. Because the bus stop wasn't that close. So my grandma used to pick me up, and he was at the bus stop as well. And one day I decided that, out of the back window, I was going to give him a double middle finger. As I was driving away with my grandmother one day. I don't know why I don't even know why I did it, guys. I can I can't tell you one reason why. I gave this kid the double middle finger. And from that day forward, he just kind of gave me the weird like a weird look like. What? What the hell are you doing? And from that day forward, I would run. Run as fast as I could. To the bus stop. And away to the bus stop. To where my grandma was going to pick me up. And it was like that for almost six months. And he never beat me up or anything like that. <laughs> I was like overreacting. Actually, hold on a second. I don't, I don't need this. What am I doing with this? I was just putting blocks down. Actually, no, no, no. I was doing the right thing. I want to want these. Because I want to make like a wall. Kind of. Keep that going. So yeah, here. I guess the moral of that story is. Never give the double middle finger to a bully. Because you'll be scared for the rest of your life. And I still am scared. When I like open my door. To like go get like groceries. I'm scared. The bully's gonna come get me from me. Giving him the bird. Yeah, that is actually a true story. I did not make that up. I was scared for like at least six months. And nothing ever happened either. And like I didn't get beat up or anything. So. 
All right now. Is there? Is this all? Is this just gonna go straight down into? Get cool, cool. I'm gonna make a little line here. It's getting late. It's getting late, and when it gets late, that's when the scout starts to lose. I don't think I've ever made it past one night. In this game, when people are watching, I really don't think it's happened. Is that? Oh, there's a mine somewhere around here. Pretty sick. Oh, it's right here. Oh, nice. Maybe there's coal right here, too. That'd be pretty awesome. Oh my god, Creeper! Creeper, get the hell out of here! I'm gonna kick your butt! You know, you blew up! Go on! Go on! What do you think? I can't! You can't hurt me! I gotta shovel! I'm gonna shovel your face in! Here you go! Okay, well, that's done. Ha ha ha! There's not coal just right here somewhere. There has to be. See, this is why they always tell you. Right when you start, you need to go get coal and you need to go get wood and everything. But I was too busy talking about a bully. Me giving him the middle finger. So I can't. I'm trying to see if I can see coal. Sometimes it's right on the edge of these mountains. Hmm? I am not pleased. Let's at least do this. I need a sheep too. I need wool. I'm being a real piece of crap. Oh my god, Creeper, Creeper, get the hell out of here. I'm gonna kick your butt, you know, you blow up. Go on, go on, what do you think? I can't, you can't hurt me, I gotta shovel.